All right, hello everybody. It's Dr. Conroy here once again, and this time I'm back with another cosplay. And as you can see, this time it's of the fourth Doctor's costume. So yeah, to get things kick-started, uh, well, this is the hat I'm using. It's not the most accurate thing. It's not got the widest brim, but it's brown. It's a similar enough style, and it'll work. And this wasn't bad for a charity shop find, this wasn't. In fact, quite a bit of this stuff, some second handers I'll get to in a moment. It really shows the value of it too, because it doesn't cost much, and more often than not, it will look alright. And most definitely for the big elephant in the room, the scarf. Now, uh, this scarf, if I remember correctly, is about 12 feet long. And as I'll show off the height in a minute, I'm about six feet. Well, I'm six foot high, I'm not about, I am six foot high. And I believe this is 12 foot long. And I've at least got it wrapped round just for once. I've seen in, like, seen in promotional photos. And I don't know if the colours are the most accurate, but once again, it at least works, and I do like it. As for where I got it from, there was a standard uh, Comic Con in Newark. It was selling these in for a decent price, too. So, so I grabbed one. It's not one of the the Varsity ones, very bit more expensive, and I think they're a bit more accurate. I know they do the super long one as well, but. Yeah, in my case this works, and working a lot more with second-hand stuff, uh, this cravat was, this was second-hand, I got this in a charity shop somewhere, I think I was on holiday at the time, but yeah, it was definitely a charity shop fun this was, and it's one of my cravats I wear quite frequently. Now, once again, with accuracy, the waistcoat isn't the most accurate thing ever. No, it doesn't have an accurate pattern, but it'll get the essence down for now, and it'll work. And it's got a brown back anyways, like I think, as one has. This one's actually a Joe Brown's one, and I just got it, not for the Pepsi of cosplay, but I just liked it for what it was. And I didn't actually get it from the website, I got it from a shop in Norfolk, and it wasn't too far from the same shop I got my Batman Thomas and Percy from, so that wasn't a bad uh, shopping trip really, that. Trousers, um, I think it's next I got these from, but let me just come up a bit closer. They're grey and they're checkered and they'll most definitely work. And um, once again, for the ESV shirt, it's just white, you can get white shirts about anywhere really, from the uh, church shops, the uh, actual shops, you can get them there anywhere as I say, and for a definite second hand the coat right here, this one was from eBay and I got it for the purpose of the 12th Doctor's red velvet look because it does look quite similar to that jacket. Just so it's got four buttons and, well, it won't have the lining running to the edges. It's not actually a Capaldi jacket, but it works for that. And it works for this too. It's a bit shorter than the Fourth Doctor's frock coat, but it's the best thing I've got. It's dark red. And we've got the pockets, which is good, because whenever I go to a Comic-Con dress like this, I most definitely will bring a bag of Jelly Babies to hand out to the other cosplayers. And I've got my inside pockets as well. And if you're keeping my screwdriver, this one's just the character options toy. Just about most what Dr. Cosplayers use these, myself included. And... As far as footwear goes, these probably aren't the most accurate sort of thing, but these are just brown suede brogue shoes. I think the fourth doctor at least does wear brogues of some kind. And, but these will work. 
if there was anything I really would love to give, uh, I would really love to get the leather brownie high boots that he wears. Uh, those kind of boots are difficult to find, especially for Matt. And, and for a decent price anyways, I mean even the cheapest I've seen them for, they're going to be hundreds price range. And well I could just get a costume, sort of a knee high boot or a boot cover and one of these where I like to have the just alert, clothes on my cosplay so I can wear them day to day and the money seems more worth it so of course you have real shirts, real waistcoat, real coat, nothing costume eh? And even this um, for something that was just all bought at, hunt, bought at a comic car now the quality of it's very nice, and although I don't wear it as often as I like it easily, you know, for a flat I could just wear it uh, a lot in the wind, so I just really put it to the test. And the subject of the scarf five, I'd say I wrapped it down at least just for once, uh, around the neck just for once, and this is how uh, low down it hangs, which is about i say it's about accurate to what we've seen some professional stills because they had um, the really long scarves, some of them were cut a bit shorter and whatnot. But if I wanted it to hang down just a bit lower, like so. Just let you just hang it off my shoulders now and when it does that, as you can see the tassels, touch my feet, drag on the ground. So. If you're walking, you just have to keep them aside if you prefer to wear your scarf a bit looser. And as I said already, I'm six feet high, and I believe the scarf is about 12 feet long. Which, yeah, I guess that seems about right. So yeah, I guess that's about this one. Of course, for props, you can have a screwdriver, you can take around Jelly Babies. I know the fourth dots are like to yo from time to time. And depending on what episode you could do, you could even carry around a sword if you wanted, given that at least in a couple of episodes, he's used a sword. Like, um, I know in the Android Atari, he certainly used one. And... As I say, this isn't the most accurate thing ever, but at the end of the day, cosplay should just be about having fun, really. And I may well update this at some point in the future, but still just have fun with it, that's what it's there for. And if there's any fourth dots that like I'd really love to do in the future, I would absolutely love to do the season 18 look where it's almost entirely burgundy with the long coat, the waistcoat, and the knee high boots once I find a pair that I, I like are doing my size in the not too expensive which might be a struggle but I'll just see what I can do just gotta keep looking around so yeah that's that one for now and until the next video this is Dr Conroy signing out